guys it is really crazy lumber prices are going north all of our expenses are going up gas prices diesel prices I mean look at this lumber here I'm not even sure where this trucker is headed but here's the thing guys nothing is going to be cheaper tomorrow than it is today they're just plain and simple all right nothing's going to be cheaper in fact everything is going up new home builders uh new construction yeah new construction guys is going up and what we're seeing already we're already seeing like new home builders canceling canceling contracts Tracy and Donnell Brundage were days away from moving into their forever home in Oakleaf, Texas. It was a four bedroom, four and a half bath. Here it is, completed. They had movers booked, even bought a fridge for the kitchen. But six days before closing. Just unbelievable. Just, just unbelievable. After the couple spent 16 months on the build, managed months of supply chain delays. We were really patient with them. And spent thousands in escrow and upgrade money. This text message changed everything. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Glacier Custom Homes, Kindred Homes, has decided to terminate the sales contract, which you dated 12-15-2020. The builder was backing out. A clause in the contract allowed them to cancel for convenience and put the house on the market. The new price, $300,000 more than the Brundages contracted to buy it for. No reason, no nothing. Like, is this... Can you do actually do this? Like, you know, this is basically an agreement to hold you hostage. We asked attorney Jason Friedman, who is not associated with this case, to review the Horton Capital Properties sales contract. If you're signing a contract like this, you could be homeless. These new home builders are realizing, hey, real estate is going up. Real estate is becoming more and more expensive each and every single day. I really apologize for how much background noise there is just because I'm by a busy highway, but everything is getting more and more expensive by the day. And what we're seeing here is we're seeing capitalism at its finest, but unfortunately, it's going to impact our pockets each and every single time. Now, why are home builders canceling new contracts? Well, home builders are realizing that labor is becoming more expensive. Home builders are realizing that lumber is scarce and the available materials needed to build new construction is becoming more and more expensive. Land is becoming more expensive. Interest rates with mortgages for whether it's a 15 year mortgage, a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, they're all becoming more and more expensive. And what's happening is that a lot of new home buyers are realizing that, hey, if I, don't, if I don't hurry up and jump out in, in this housing market, I'm gonna miss the boat, right? And so what's happening is that it's almost like, so the Fed decided to raise interest rates to offset inflation. But the response from the economy, when I say the economy, I'm talking about people like me and you, people who need to buy a home. They're saying, hey, if I don't get into this home right now, I may not have an opportunity to achieve the achieve the American dream. I may not be able to buy that home later. Or if I wait, that new home may cost significantly more in the future. So while interest rates are going higher, home buyers are still competing at record levels. Why? Because the concern is that if you don't lock in that price now, if you don't lock if, if you don't lock in that home price now, if you don't lock in that mortgage rate right now at what? 5.3%, 5.4%, 5.5% interest rate, you may sit on the sideline on the housing market sideline and say to yourself, "Well, god dang it. I really wish I had purchased that home sooner." And you don't want to look back in so what is today? This is a uh, thing is June 9th. So it's June 9th. You don't want to look back in, in September and say, oh man, you compare the price in, in September to today, you may look at today and say, man, that was a deal. I should have jumped on it. We may, look at this. We may look at gas prices today at $5.99 for diesel prices, $4.49 right now for unleaded fuel for the cheap. We, we may very well look back at these times and say, man, these were the good old days. Back, you guys remember when gas was four dollars and forty nine cents a gallon? Man, that was so cheap. You remember when diesel was five dollars and ninety nine cents a gallon? This was so cheap. 
45 days from today, 45 days from today, we may very well look at these prices for fuel. We may very well look at interest rates for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. We may very well look at a 15 year fixed rate mortgage and say to ourselves, wow, we should have jumped on that. We should have locked in that 5.3% fixed rate mortgage for a 30 year fixed rate uh, mortgage. Where are interest rates gonna be in three more months? Where are housing prices gonna be in three more months? What is housing inventory gonna look like in potentially three more months? I can't imagine that based on what I'm seeing, I cannot imagine that home builders are gonna suddenly flood the market with new homes to the extent that home prices begin to decline. And we're also not seeing a reduction. I'm not seeing it. I know, I know, here's the thing. Real estate is local, right? So what might ha what's happening in your area, what's happening in your part of town may not be happening in other parts of town. Meaning, some parts of town may actually be seeing, okay, slightly reduced inventory in terms of housing. Some people may, some in, uh, parts of town may be seeing a reduction in demand for housing, for new housing, for uh, new mortgage applications, but this is not everywhere, right? And so here's the thing, one part of town, one city can be experiencing real estate appreciation of 10% still, 15% in a year, while another part of town may experience real estate appreciation at, you know, maybe 2%. It's, it's getting back to, you know, more, more normal levels. But then you have everything in between. And right now, I'm not aware of any market right now seeing any kind of drastic pullback. And like I said, we're going to see prices continue to go north, guys. Prices are going to continue to go north. We have to prepare. So what are you doing to prepare yourself for higher interest rates? for gas prices to continue to go north see the thing is is like we're taught to create a we're taught to create an emergency plan an emergency um you need to have an emergency savings fund right part of that emergency savings fund for a lot of people is being dwindled away as we continue to see higher and higher gas prices right to me that's an emergency when you can't get to work because your car broke down. That's an unexpected expense. That would be an emergency. If you have a sudden interruption in your income because your vehicle doesn't work, you have to hurry up and get that vehicle fixed. Let's just say that vehicle expense is $1,000. So you'd need to dip into your emergency fund, spend $1,000 and hurry up and get your vehicle fixed. Well, it's no less of an emergency if suddenly what you budgeted for fuel went north right so let's just say you know uh, gas prices a year ago were two dollars and change today we're approaching five dollars per gallon across the board across the United States so let's just say in a month you'd normally spend I don't know what maybe the average person might spend two hundred dollars a month in gas so fast forward to today because of the increase in fuel you have doubled how much you're spending per month. So you now all of a sudden have anywhere between a two to $300 monthly emergency in the form of higher gas prices. So the key here is stockpile cash so that you can weather the storm, diversify your income so that as companies start falling off the map, because a lot of these higher gas prices, high diesel prices, they're gonna, they're gonna eat into these companies' profitability and if you work for a company that's very sensitive to gas prices, diesel prices, I'm, I'm afraid to say it guys, but your job may be at risk. So you have to prepare in advance. I'm gonna drop more videos on uh, how to increase your income, how to boost your income, how to combat inflation, because the key to this, the key to winning this thing, the, the key to survival is to have a substantial stockpile of cash and a way to increase your income uh, at will. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one